Hello, and welcome to the Christmas edition of Beer Bros. What? Something's different. Um, I didn't... I'm in the spirit. Okay. All right, Keith, so as I mentioned before, it's a Christmas vacation edition of Beer Bros. This week we have a selection of National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation Beer. Okay. So for the Monday edition, we have, for the review, as I said, from uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. And this is actually made in a bottle distributed by uh, Fishtail Ales out of Olympia, Washington. So um, it's gonna be the, uh, the Cousin Eddie's RV, Imperial Brown Ale. What's what's better than a Christmas vacation without relatives intruding on your privacy? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, Cousin Eddie's RV, that's the, the famous RV from the from the movie. So, let's see if this beer matches up. I'm going to undo this slow cuz I feel like it's had a little bit of a journey to get here. It's kind of what Cousin Eddie would have happened. Yeah. So we're staying with the theme of it. So this is actually a brown ale, as I said before. So it's living up to its color so far. It is brown, it's clear, effervescent, very light tan head, small. Yeah, yeah it's very small. Yours is? So, well, mine was, I did a little bit different pour. I kind of took it easy on yours. So if you want, I can add some more if you want to. Eh, FRS is a little bit more. The the infamous RV is on the front of the bottle, and it's uh, I'm seeing that it's 7.5 percent alcohol by volume, so it's going to be a pretty strong beer. Okay. All right, so let's give it a smell, Keith. Hmm. I get just a faint ale scent. It's not strong or otherwise no characteristic. it's not yeah it's not a it's not too overwhelming there's just not a lot there how about that there's not a lot of scent to the beer mm -hmm. it's a traditional ale scent a little bit of characteristics of the the hops and mm -hmm. the the flavors that went into brewing the the beer but not a whole lot going on so let's let's give it a try let's see if it if it matches up with its uh its smell and its flavor okay or its taste okay mm, that's good you get more hops than i expected yeah and it's a little bit sweeter than than what i anticipated so the hops are there and you can see it's it's lacing pretty nicely very nice lacing so it's it's nice and frothy mm -hmm. whenever you actually get to drinking i'm sure mm -hmm. a, a better pour or a full glass you would have a, a nicer consistency of head on the top of the beer overall yes it's malty it's a little bit stronger on the back end so Keep that in mind if you're gonna if you're gonna drink this bottle. It's gonna be a strong beer, 7.9% ABV. So it'll be it wouldn't be a bad one to share with another person just to okay. be on the safe side, especially if you're at a, a gathering with your family uh, that tends to get a little bit uh, monotonous. I think sometimes I won't tell but, them you said that. Yeah, well they already kind of know. I'm not one to hold back my opinions. Cousin Eddie's RV Imperial Brown Ale. So strong review for from us today here at Beer Bros. I think that about wraps it up for this Monday edition. Stay tuned Wednesday and Thursday. Because Friday is of course Christmas and no, I'm not gonna stay up late on Christmas Eve and put up a video on Christmas Day. Yeah, it, we just wanna keep the reason for the season where it belongs. That about wraps up our episode of Beer Bros for today. Tune in Wednesday and Thursday for our continued Christmas vacation beers. Until next time, Beer Bros out.